After its founding, the Jewish state achieved advances in a number of different fields. Gordon Robertson brings us this story about how Israel has become a world leader in technology. Israel has often been called the startup nation. And while Jerusalem may be the spiritual heart of the country, Tel Aviv is the center of its startup success. Just a century ago, this thriving city was little more than a series of sand dunes. Today, it's been voted the second best high-tech center in the world. From the iPhone to the PlayStation, many of the ideas behind your favorite gadgets came from inventors right here in Israel. Flip-top cell phones, keyboards for smartphones, Intel Pentium chips, the ability to print straight from your computer, the flash drive, the chip in the iPad, the OS that runs the Amazon Kindle, the chip that controls the Sony PlayStation, and the 3D sensor in the Xbox Kinect. Every year, American companies are shelling out more and more shekels to buy small Israeli startups. I think the key challenge for Israeli companies now is to go from startup nation to scale up nation. We need to build bigger companies, not just sell them early to American multinationals, but to actually get them bigger, to get them into the sales process, and to create more jobs both here and in America and around the world. So what gives Israel its technological edge? Chutzpah is perhaps the most definitive Jewish word. Very, very hard to translate. Gaul, unrelenting daring. That chutzpah is what allows us to actually break the boundaries and to break the rules and to go out of our comfort zone in order to create new things. That culture of challenging and debating and arguing, it's everywhere in Israel. Arguing is healthy because you get to better answers, you get to better results. And I think that is a key uh, cultural attribute in Israel's economic success story and its economic miracle. And I believe uh, this tradition, this culture, it's a part of our DNA. If you all think alike, you all act alike, I'm sorry, it's not going to be a particularly creative place. I always say that the secret source of the Israeli high tech is the Jewish mother who asked her son at the age of seven, after all what we have done for you, asking you for one Nobel Prize, is it really too much? Yossi Vardi is known as the godfather of Israel's high tech industry. He's invested in more than 80 internet startups, including a company started by his son. That unbelievable product was ICQ, the world's first instant messaging service. Less than a year later, America Online bought the company for $400 million. In most job interviews here, the big question isn't where you went to college, but where you served in the military. In Israel, almost every single Israeli serves in the military. Almost every single Israeli is put through this training in how to lead, how to manage, how to make very difficult decisions with very little information under enormous pressure. And these skills hardwire young people for being entrepreneurs. Many Israeli IT companies are founded by alumni of an elite military intelligence unit known as 8200, a highly secretive group that specializes in cyber warfare. Unit 8200 is believed to be the brains behind the Stuxnet virus that targeted Iran's nuclear facilities. Israelis are proud to say that many of their high-tech ideas come from their experience in the Army, an idea some say could also benefit American companies. American businesses have a lot to learn with how Israel has integrated their military people when they're coming out of the military into the economy. 